Away from the Supreme Court judgments in Toyo State, where the death toll from Tuesday's explosion in the Bodija area of Ibado stands at five, but more people may still be trapped under the rubble. This follows the recovery of some body parts, which the Oyo State government confirmed are undergoing forensic tests. Olaidui Wale has more in this report. Day after day, the rescue teams are not relenting as the responders continue efforts to rescue victims, pushing forward to reach ground zero in the comprehensive evacuation process. Survivors are still picking remnants of their possessions, with no choice left but to resign to fate and accept the current situation as their reality. Mr. Sunday Daniel, who lost his house and his wife currently receiving treatment, said he had lost property worth millions of naira to the disaster after escaping death by a whisker. I'm coming from uh, Awolowo Junction. Just remain like three minutes to reach the, our house here. You just see that there's a blast. When we got to the house, our wife already broke by leg. It's now in usage. The house already died. We just see the, the, uh, the cops yesterday morning, over 60 million. Because there are four, I mean, uh, four runners, it's over 10 million. This one, over 8 million. The house. The commissioner for health, who was at the scene, explained that the death toll has not exceeded five, as recently discovered body parts are undergoing forensic examination. The report is not yet out. You know, it takes, it takes because they have to do the total body X-ray, check that, and they will do the post-mortem. They will now go to type and all that. So we have not gotten any of the reports. For affected houses within the area, the lead for the emergency medical team assured that integrity tests have commenced and houses with defects would be demolished. The Nigerian Society of Engineers have their machines which they brought along and haven't taken an area view. They can actually tell houses that are two, three hundred meters away from the epicenter. Um, but integrity tests is their mandate and our responsibility is to wait for the reports of whatever they have to offer us. Lives cut short, properties worth billions of naira have been lost to this devastating incident. And for the survivors who are still counting their losses, the reality of the tragedy that has befallen them will continue to linger. And they hope that the perpetrators of this heinous act will be brought to book. Olaidio Yewole, TVC News, Ibadan.